Guys, hello and welcome to another episode. I'm here in Changu in Bali and as you can see, I'm just getting ready to head to the Mentawai Islands. So I've never been there before. Obviously it needs no introduction. It's got some of the best waves in the world. So I'm freaking excited. I'm gonna be meeting up with some of my best friends from back home in the UK and from Australia. I got the call up super last minute for this trip because one of our other mates dropped out, which is unfortunate for him, but pretty sick for me. So yeah, going on the trip now, which is sick. We're gonna be staying at HT's resort. I'm gonna get packing and I'll see you in the Mentawise. Okay, so we finally made it to HT's. I only came from Bali, but it felt like I was traveling for like three days where the other boys actually were. They came from the UK and from America, from Europe. So it was a pretty hectic mission for them. But when you arrive and it's like this, with sick waves out the front, it makes it all worth it. So we are settling in to life at HT's very nicely. Now you've seen a few of the waves. I just want to talk a little bit about what the waves are actually like here. So Lancer's right or HT's, it's got, got two names. It is obviously a world-class wave, super fast, super powerful. Obviously it's a really fun wave, but at the same time, 
super intimidating as well. So shallow and so fast. It's pretty tricky to surf, especially on your front side. It's quite hard to like do front side like finners and, and snaps and keep your speed. I guess it depends on your ability, but for me, it's really hard to like rip into the wave because I'm so worried about how shallow the reef is. And it's pretty gnarly like coral like right underneath you if it's below like three foot it's so so shallow one of our friends he's already put himself out of action on the first session getting rolled across the reef there's like a section at the end called the surgeon's table which um yeah describes it perfectly at low tide it sticks out and yeah it's so gnarly like you need to kind of do your last turn and kick out way before you hit that it's something definitely to watch out for you know if you're looking to come here but that said at high tide becomes like a bit more of a section it's not like dry reef it's actually like a section of the wave that you can surf over it I mean you don't want to be diving off head first it's still super shallow and yeah obviously the waves just kind of intimidating all around if it gets over three or four foot just showing you the, the intricacies of uh, Lancer's right I'm on the surgeon's table right now I'm gonna show you some of it close up As well you've got the crowd factor you've got like HTs and a few other resorts and villas as well and then you get like the boats turning up so obviously with the boats you know there's like 12 to 15 people on each boat and if you have a couple of them turn up and the guys from the camps so like you know we're a group of 16 people there's other camps with groups there's two boats with groups it becomes really crowded like really quickly obviously if you've watched some of my videos before you know that I mostly travel on a budget but this trip I got super lucky I was able to come with a group of friends and stay at HT's resort a bunch of my friends from home had already booked the trip I couldn't go because it's super expensive for me um, but one of our other friends dropped out so I was able to come last minute pretty cheap and I was already in Bali so it's kind of an opportunity to come to the men's <laughs> that I really couldn't miss. It's a pretty expensive resort. It's kind of one of the, well, it is the, one of the best places you can stay in, the, in this area. And yeah, the resort is amazing. You know, they've got really clean, like comfortable rooms, like AC, pool. Yeah, they've got a sick restaurant. They've got okay Wi-Fi. And yeah, you're literally like 30 seconds away from HTs. The, the resort's like right in front of it. So as well, like the crew will also take you surfing. You've got use of the boats. When you book the resort the package kind of includes like your boat your food everything it depends what kind of package you book so yeah it just makes your trip really easy if you can afford it i definitely recommend staying there i'll leave the link in the description as to where you can book that as well if you did want to come to the mentorwise and get some of the best waves in the world i did a bit of research to find out how you could do it as cheaply as possible so in this area there's a couple of different accommodation options literally ne next door there's katiat surf villas and that actually costs 100 us dollars per night per room and the room sleeps too so you know if you're coming with a partner or a mate and you're happy to share the room for 50 bucks a night you know you can have a room in the mentorwise straight in front of of lancer's right um, again i'll leave that link in the description below so you can check that out you can book that on hostel world as well which is a site that i always use to find like cheap accommodation it's, it's pretty sick Additionally, there's a few other like villas and resorts in the area. I, I couldn't find prices online, but if you just look on the map here, you've got a few different accommodations. So if you contact them directly, they'll be able to give you prices. Um, but yeah, I think HT's and Kingfisher Resort are the most expensive. While this other one, Katiat Surf Villas, that's, that's a bit cheaper. So that's definitely your best bet for staying for a reasonable price. As for getting to the Mentorwise, it, it is remote. Like even if you're in Bali like I was, it's a mission to get here. It took like a day and a half just to get here from Bali. Most of our group like came from England. So it took them like three and a half days to travel here, which is crazy. From Bali, you have to get a flight to Jakarta and then Jakarta to Padang. You can find those flights for about 60 US dollars. We then stayed in a hotel in Padang for the night and then the rep from HT's resort picked us up in the morning 
um, and took us to Padang Harbour. If you were doing that on your own, so without a resort, you'd have to get a taxi from your hotel in Padang to the ferry. No matter which part of the Mentawise you're going to, you're always going to have to get to Padang and get the boat from there. Now, from Padang, you've kind of got two options. You've got either the fast boat or the slow boat. The slow boat is like an overnight boat and it takes like 12 to 16 hours depending on the conditions. Pretty hellish, I, I've never done it but I've spoken to a few friends who have and they say yeah it's pretty gnarly, it's super long, especially if you've travelled like internationally beforehand. Alternatively you can take the fast boat which I'd highly recommend. That costs around 25 to 30 US dollars I think. So yeah you need to look at Dang to Tua Payet. As well any surfers in the Mentawise have to pay like a surf tax which is money you pay to come and enjoy the islands. The fee is payable at Padang Harbour to the port authorities. So that's another cost you've got to bear in mind. And yeah, the, I know it can be a little bit annoying, you know, that extra cost that you don't have in other places, but the money goes back into the island, you know, it helps support the local communities and, you know, helps with schools and helps preserve what is one of the most beautiful island chains in the, in the world. So yeah, you're definitely doing a good thing by, by paying that. So yeah, the fast ferry takes about three and a half to six hours. I mean, it depends entirely on the conditions. We had a pretty smooth crossing, so only took us around three and a half to four hours, which wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty long way from the mainland, you know, it looks pretty close on the map, but yeah, definitely be prepared for a bit of a long boat journey. But yeah, once you get here, there's amazing waves. I mean, right here, at Lancers right you've got this right out the front there's a number of other waves in the area from this little stretch from where HTs and Katiet surf fillers are there's a few waves you can walk to or, or you can jump on a bike and you know 10-15 minutes down the road there's like a sick beachy and a few other little reef passes which are worth checking out so I hope that has given you a bit of info to help make your uh, mental eye trip happen obviously it's a much more expensive than going to other places in Indo but yeah, just for the wave quality and how beautiful the place is, I, I definitely recommend going. Even if you have to spend a bit more than you would in other places, it, it's definitely worth it. I'm gonna leave this video here. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you have, and can't wait to show you more.